we'll make you another good performance and the only disappointment I suppose he didn't get that second goal I mean you seem so, so, so close to it yeah that, that, we always try and stand here and be as honest as we can because you can't get people on can you you've got to, you've got to see how you've seen it and I, and I thought that we comfortably could have had a few more goals and, and made it um, a, a, an easier afternoon for ourselves because you, you always know that Barrow is still in it and we um, direct play and, and Norton's and things you just don't know maybe what's going to go but the, the, the back the back four were, were, were excellent uh, all day midfield in front of them Mary and O'Connor were, were, were really good as well um, so no, all, all, all across the team a really good performance a real a real good team performance um, but I think if we were being really if we were really looking at ourselves and seeing where the improvements can be we've got to put some of the chances away because I think we, we, we just spoke to the stats guys and with 15 so 15 is an awful lot to to only really take one from so but like we say we're continuously trying to improve all the time and that'll be something we speak about next week because um, when the chances come we want to take more of them so that, that's what we'll do we, we won't just bat it off because we've won we'll, we'll, we'll be killed joys because one we want to keep this group improving all the time and, and that's probably what we need to do is, is, is be able to maybe put that game to bed but you could feel it was a wee bit tense um, pretty much most of the day because we knew that we had to back up to away really good away results you've got to back them up with your next home game and win so you knew that you could kind of feel that around about the place uh, but the players handled it really really well the game management was superb and the composure and doing their jobs all afternoon were, were, were really really good I don't remember Ross really having a save to make which is great credit to them because we're playing against a Barrow team who are at the top end of the table so we, uh, we knew it was going to be a, a difficult day if we weren't, we weren't in and around our best To take one chance uh, good battling and then Morris lays it off for Josh and scores with his left foot that's uh, a bit of a change isn't it? Yeah it was good. It was a really good finish we're really pleased to, to see it can any, he scores goals yeah, um, so we, we, we're trying to as we said trying to mould these group of players into something that we think we can get results from and certainly we know that he's a goal threat he's a very technically very good player and he's added real work rate to his performances as well and real he, 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 he now gets physical as well so now we're, we're, we're pleased with him and he's developing like we say we oil him and, um, and his game's in a good place at the minute and as you say you know creating opportunities I mean you know, frustratingly missing them but you're creating you know a dozen chances or more in a game I mean and that's a real plus as you have we'll, but you've got to take them. You have to be good enough to go and take them, and you—that's what we'll have to say to ourselves. Because as a, as a stand here, I always tell the truth. I'm not trying to be cleverer. We have to take some of the chances to give ourselves a more comfortable afternoon. But certainly, as you say, to get into some of the positions that we, we got in it, some of the football that we played was really good. And then when when Barrow were asking us certain questions, we answered them really well as well. When it, when, it, when it became physical or whatever, we didn't start the second half particularly well. After about the first five, ten minutes of the second half, I think we, we regained our composure again and got gone again. And, and in that period, I think that we uh, we could have scored a, f a few goals and and uh, maybe got maybe have, um, made it a, a, a little bit less nervy, as you say, going into the end. The frustration was the tyres. I could see where the uh, the crosses went into the six-yard box and, and, and nobody was attacking it. I mean, really, yeah. good crosses in, but not on the end of the. Well, we're playing with two strikers and a wide man that's supposed to arrive in the box. So when we did it on the outside, it's two two front men and a wide man getting at the box and the representatives in there for anything that comes in. And really, you would be thinking that going across the kind of areas that the ball was getting rolled across, you would expect one of them to make a run to get in there. So it was just it was it was no frustration because I was annoyed. Or I was frustrated because I thought there's a goal there for him. I want him to be good players. I want him to score goals and and get the credit that they, that they deserve and I, I was more frustrated that maybe they didn't get what they deserve and go and get that, that little tap in. And, and moving the ball you know, a lot quicker, there's a lot of movement, is that just confidence or is it just players getting used to the system? Um, a wee bit of both I think, I, I think generally, genuinely Derek, I think it's just good players playing well. I think if you can control and pass a football and you can run and you have that mentality that, that, that this group have then you give yourself a good chance of playing well and then you give yourself a good chance of winning games of football. I think it's just that. I'm not going to complicate. I've been in it a long time now. It's, that's what they're doing now. They're, 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 they're just good players. Um, doing what good players do. Um, and that's 
perform and then give themselves a good chance of winning games. Talk about good players. I mean, great to have Kieran Morris starting a game, and, and, and he does draw defenders towards him. They know what he can do, and that can help other people. Well, I keep saying to you how I think where he is, you know, how talented the player that he is. He's he's, a, he's he's such a good player. I mean, ever since he's came here, he's been he's been excellent for us. So we're, we're delighted to have him here, and he's such a good lad as well. And they're all good lads. You're asking me about Kieran, but um, no, we're, we're, we're delighted to have him here and. And we look a threat when, when, when we certainly may get the ball to these these types of guys because if you don't go and take the ball off them then the running power that can get up and around them and the abilities that can get up and around them will, will, can cause you damage. And the substitution from the bench as well, I mean, you know, Reece Hughes comes on, a couple of great deliveries that yeah. the Sydney will have scored from as well, but I mean, great to see them making an impact. Yeah, I mean, again, another young player that we've got really high hopes for, mm. uh, young Reese. Um so, no, I'm, we're, we're pleased with the group. We've got to keep pushing them. We've got to keep supporting them. We ain't achieved anything yet other than saying that this team's now got to a place in the development that they can win games of football and develop. So I'll keep pushing them. I'll keep supporting them because that's what they'll need. Like I said, they'll be ups and downs because they're young players, but they're certainly absolutely moving in the right direction. Now. And the vision that the club had at the start of the season today is uh, looking in a good place. But what we've got to do now is be consistent with that and keep pushing them along and keep improving them, keep their standards high and, and I'm sure that we'll have a, a, a lot of good times ahead. And the supporters responding as well, I mean, you know, they like what they saw today, you know, that they like you know, the movement, the, the opportunities coming their way. Well, we, we, that's why we're here, isn't it? We? We're here to try and produce football that a, a group of supporters or a community wants to see represent them. That's what we're trying to do. We didn't quite be able to get it in the, in the early part of the season, that's 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 for sure. We had it in flashes, but not to the levels that we have now, but I kept saying it would take time and it would take time to knit it together. But standing here today, we can certainly be pleased about where we're at, but it's only today and tomorrow it will be about moving it on and, and then finding that consistency for, for Tuesday night and going and trying to get another result on Tuesday night now um, and, and just keep moving it forward. But with the support that we had today, which was great, we need them. We need them at times, and they know that, and they're educated, and they, they rose again, and they know that we they, that we need we deserve the support that they gave us. I think, and they go right behind the lads, and it and it get that lads that extra spring in their step, and that wee bit of satisfaction that they know that the, that, that the fans were happy with what they were doing. So it was a, it was a good uh, connection between everybody. And a few more players back in the squad. You know, Nolan back on the bench today. I know Robinson's back in training now. Uh, you know, Jameson was on the bench last week. You know, so things improving a little bit all around. Well, Robinson, no, he's he's going to be a, a couple of months. He's he, he's uh, unfortunately he's done his, his his ankle ligaments, so he's going to be a wee while. Uh, unfortunately, with him. But yeah, Jameson was in the squad today, but maybe a wee bit early to come into the group. So we only probably needed one centre back on the bench. So. Um, Big Burnley is, uh, is, is probably a wee bit ahead and a wee bit a safer bet on the bench rather than bringing somebody on who had a hamstring problem. So, but he'll, we'll push him on this week and look to get him playing on Tuesday and um, get the other ones that need game time um, a, a game on Tuesday because we trust them all. We want to do well in the competition on Tuesday, trust me. But, uh, so we'll put out a team there that we expect to go and per perform on Tuesday as well. But it's, it is good to see that the, the bench is becoming a wee bit stronger and a wee bit more appearances among them on the bench it's important that we have that because early in the season although it was great to get the young lads in and among the the uh, the, the, the first team squad um, we know what a tough division this is and you need guys with, with appearances at times to, to, to be able to come off the bench for you so you home with a glass of red wine tonight a nice glass of red wine which <laughs> we will we will enjoy um, and uh, but back to it again on Monday again uh, and, and keep pushing them on and keep supporting them and like I keep saying everything my job is to just try and get these lads to the best that they can be and uh, keep pushing them forward for Tramia and that's what I'll continue to do.